the quietest place you can think of. Exactly, a library. That is why today we are doing the last to leave library wins $10,000. And as we're setting up, here's how this works. All three of us are currently at three different libraries. We each have a bag full of stuff and a laptop that shows a list of challenges and we need to do as many as possible without getting kicked out. But the trick is, we don't know what the challenges are because they were made by the other guys. Whoever completes the most rounds wins $10,000. Now that we're all set up, it's time for round one. First things first? No. No, bro. Electric pencil sharpener. Buddy. Challenge number one is sneeze really, really loud. I gotta get rid of it right now. I have to run a whole extension cable for my first day, bro. Come on, sharpening a pencil. Here we go. <sighs> Oh shoot, I didn't even see that. Yeah, someone might trip over this. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay if I tape it down? Mm -hmm. Right here? No, I can't let you tape anything down. But you okay. can plug it into that. Okay, so I'll plug it in there. Or they're there for that reason. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Sorry about that. No, you're good. I'll just bring this just in case, you know? Yeah, yeah no, I have to Now that round one is completed, it's time for round two. And this is where things get interesting. I'm starving. Mm. What is this? Am I just supposed to eat this? Hungry. You know? You want a bite? No. <sighs> Bro, gotta eat a lettuce. I just ate a jalapeno. Okay. We were supposed to be eating here first. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I'll put it away. Oh my God, my throat's on fire, man. Oh, I believe so, yeah. The water fountain out in the lobby. It's okay, I don't need it. Okay. So, 
Oh, are you guys doing this TikTok or something? No. Yeah? No, no, no. no. Holy fudge, I need water. I got water. Oh. Gotta eat healthy. Now I can study. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm so sorry. What are you sorry for? It's spicy. I'd rather be sitting with people my age. Rather be my age. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think it's time for the next round. Let's see what's in this bag. Why does this one have a camera in here? I'm not gonna lie, your boy was a little bit nervous. They were on to me, but I wasn't gonna quit that easy. Round number two was easy work for your boy. Come on, let's keep going. Next up. No. Sunscreen? Bro, I'm gonna look like a total weirdo, bro. I got a mess here. How am I gonna clean this up? Oh, free. It's a fudging vacuum. No. No. <gasps> Bro, a balloon? This is not okay. I gotta blow this balloon up and pop it. Oh my god. You guys know massive sale on ivpmerch.com, so gotta protect myself from the heat. If you wanna cop it now, ivpmerch.com, up to 90% off on the entire website. It's actually a crazy deal. Um, just staying safe, protecting from the harmful rays. Very bright in here, very bright. Just like my future, because I'm so studious studying. Ah, oh, such a studious guy. Let's go, boys. Done for today. Leave the library. I'm having a baby Leave boy. The library. I'm having a baby boy. Leave the library. You are disruptive to other people. My director's already talked to you. You are done for today. Please leave. P Do not film me. DJ Fat made everyone around him leave, so to make things more fair, he moved to a new location before the start of round four. And for this round, each of us are gonna have to play a video out loud on our computer made by the other guys. All right, next one I have to watch. I have to watch a video made by the other guys. All right, we're skipping right to the next round. Time to watch this video that Ricky played. I gotta do it for the boys. I gotta get ready for this video. Oh my goodness, here we go. Three, two, one. What to do if you poop your pants? If you poop your pants, that's A-OK. -okay. Stay calm and stay strong. What you're gonna wanna do is stick your hand in your pants and wiggle it around. You're gonna wanna clean out all of the poop. Then, you're gonna pull your pants back up 
and pretend like nothing and ever happened. Good luck, soldier. You got this. Excuse me. You think you're just trying to volume off? Or put it in? What's that out loud? Kidnap a Child 101. That's correct. Today, you'll be going through a series of tutorials to learn how to kidnap a child. You look to your left. You look to your right. There should not be no one near you. This is a very, very strategic video. So please okay, pay thank attention. You. Sorry, I didn't also, know. if it's playing out loud, there's a possibility that you will go to jail. Welcome to How to Kidnap a Child 101. I didn't put my headphones in. Oh man, it's awkward. All right, there we go. Boom. this video it's because you probably get zero girls not a none brother absolutely zilch i would say more but there's nothing left to say you will never have a girl and you never will uh, i would give you advice but there's no advice for you take that l turn this video off and cry in your sleep brother because you my boy have nothing to say! Woohoo! Have a blessed day! Bro, what are these boys making me do? Bro, everyone is staring at me in here. This is so uncomfortable. Some people are just special. I forgot, I forgot my headphones. At home. Bro, the ladies over there are calling the special. I think the people at the front are on the phone with the police, but I'm pressuring through because I don't want to lose. They already told me to leave once, but it's not over until the fat lady sings. I haven't heard anyone sing yet. Number five, typewriter. There's a hole right there, bro. I'm going for it. I'm going for the blender. It's time for the next round. I gotta read this book out loud. The story of Curious George. Let's go. This keyboard isn't doing it for me. Gotta grind. Sorry, I'm just trying to grind, you know? The story of Curious George. This is George. He lived in Africa. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. But one day, George saw a man. Should we have a... Oh, I think they're actually calling the cops. I think they're calling the cops. I'm gonna keep reading though. Oh my goodness. My heart is pounding right now. Only 10,000 more words. One day, George saw a man. 
He had a large yellow straw hat. The man saw George too. What a nice little monkey, he thought. I would like to take him home with me. He put his hat on the ground and of course, George was curious. He came down from that tree to look at the large yellow hat. Uh, Story time with the boys? The police, so. You called the police? Yeah, I did. So just letting you know. Do you know? I'm not sure that you guys are doing, but we can, we're not, we can't do this. Are you recording outside? Yeah. Just playing games? No. Well, you're not I need to leave. Play. This is against our code of conduct. This is inappropriate. You're distracted in the gentleman. I'm just trying to be healthy, guys. That's it. You're trying to what? Be healthy. Um, go. Get, get out of here. Yeah, but it's, you it's know. Okay, no, this is a joke, right? Is this? It's no, no joke. Get out of here. Do you know how much yeah. fiber is in here? Just get out. Can you? I need you. Get the f I need you to, I need you to, I'm like your blender. Just get out of here, you two! <sighs> said they called the police. Oh my. No. Is that them right there? No, it's actually them. It's actually them. The cops are here. The cops are here. I'm done. I'm taking the massive out. How you doing? Good. Library has asked you guys to leave for the day. Leave, leave for the day? Yeah. You know, pack up your stuff. You guys are making too much noise, I guess, so. Too much noise. They asked you guys to leave. All right, thank you, sir. All right. Um, Thank you, boss. Mr. Backpack over here, by the window. We're all gonna be heading out. You guys are all together. Yeah. Are you doing Snapchat? What are you guys doing in these videos? They're You're doing, just taking a doing Snapchat. Like they make noise in the line. They're not funny. What's not funny? <laughs> Being escorted out right now by the police. At this point, Ricky had already won, but he actually doesn't even know that yet. So you guys are gonna get to watch Ricky keep going until he gets kicked out too. Round number six, buddy. Easy work. Up next. No way, bro. No. Blow dryer. Buddy. I just gotta dry off real quick. You can't plug that in. Oh. Are you sure? It is plugged in. Yep. Nope. I got you. I got you. I thought he was gonna fall. That would have been bad. Do you guys have something over here? Yeah. Watch. I guess I'm gonna just have to do it over here. Yes, sir. I just had to dry off. Cool. Okay. Go ahead. So I'm going to go give you a code of conduct and you might have to talk to someone. What should I do? Hmm? What should I do? You can step out for Dick. I got to do one more. Because then. Oh, okay. You can step out for Dick. That is what I will be doing, yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. Describe yourself, please. Describe myself? Describe yourself and had all the property posts. Describe myself? I would say I'm um, an Asian No, no, no. I said describe yourself. Oh, my bad. My Rico Conda. I thought you were reading I thought you were saying describe myself. Nope. Asian male, 5'10. Didn't ask that. Okay. I just said grab yourself. I got you. I'm actually really sorry. It's a fraternity thing. I don't even want to be in it well, anymore. The only thing I said was describe yourself and head out of the property. Yes, ma'am. I made it, I think I made it six rounds. Sir, so I'm not, I'm not asking you questions, I just ask you to write yourself. I'm trying, I'm trying, there's a lot of stuff. You know, but you're, you keep talking to me, but I'm not asking you anything. Okay, I won't talk, I was just trying to be civil. Um, I think that's everything. Just can't fit in here. This was round number seven, so I gotta go one more. You need to head out. Thank you guys. I'm about to arrest you. Yes, ma'am. Right okay. Do you want me to run? Nope. No. Okay. I want you to walk with me. Oh yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm gonna trespass you. Okay. Take L. Take an L. What's your name? Ricky. You have a license? I do. Can I have that, please? Yeah. I really don't want to do this. Okay. Well, you just willingly did that. 
I know. For, you actually did multiple times. I have to prove it to the fraternity. Because like yeah, I have to prove it. I have to show them that I did it. And, and I, I understand I know, that, I know. I'm trying. That's why as soon as I left, I was like, now I'm feeling. It goes against the code of conduct. I got you. That's okay. why I was like, yeah. So, like I said, you're going to be trespassed. If you okay. come back, I will arrest you, okay? So this yes, is your warning. Yes, ma'am. You sure you want to be in that fraternity? I don't really know now. You no. seem like a smart person. I actually am very smart. If they're not going to help you succeed in life, right? Yeah. And I don't really see the point of it. I really don't want to do it. I wish they didn't make you I wish they didn't make It's like kind of dumb. You have a choice. Would you recommend not going into a fraternity? Yes. I would recommend like to do whatever you think will help you succeed in life and not get arrested to do that. Okay. Okay, let's make smart decisions. Okay. Okay, I'm going to watch you walk your car and I need to watch you leave the property. Okay. okay. Well, hopefully I don't get in, honestly. I feel like this could be this could be a changing life moment for me. Like, you guys might have convinced me not to do this. Bye. I almost got arrested for you guys. I can't even open my eyes right now. I don't even know how I drove here, but I had to do it. You know I had to go for the extra one at the end. I had to hit him with that pan right in front of the cop to pull away with that W, baby. Woo! <coughs> oh, your boy looks like a marshmallow. I can't see, but we took home the victory. And you know what? I learned something today. Joining a fraternity seemed important to me at first. I felt I needed to prove myself to the brotherhood to feel like I belong. But after everything that's happened, I've realized it's not for me. I was becoming someone I didn't want to become. And speaking with the kind police officer and the respectable librarian made me realize life is about staying true to myself and understanding the impact of my actions, especially in places like the library. And I also learned that winning $10,000 well, it feels amazing! Honestly, forget the life lessons for a second. Let's talk about this cash, baby! Who wouldn't want to win that kind of money? Fudge the fraternity! I just won 10 racks, baby! And I got big plans for it, too. Maybe a super sick party. Maybe dripping out with some designer. <laughs> Maybe just rolling around in my cash like it's in the middle of winter. I'm the top dog. I've earned every bit of this money. And if you want to be top dog, too, just make sure to subscribe and comment top dog. And then, if you enjoyed the video you'll definitely enjoy this video right here where we did last to leave sauna wins ten thousand dollars